Finding maggots on your dog is one of the scariest and most heartbreaking things any pet parent can experience. Sadly, it happens more often than you might think. This condition is called meiosis, and it begins when flies lay their eggs on an open wound or even on damp, dirty fur. Within hours, those eggs hatch into tiny larvae, the maggots you see. Now, don't worry. Today, we're going to talk about exactly how this happens, what to do if it occurs, and most importantly, how to prevent it from ever happening again. Number one, how meiosis happens. Maggot infestations can develop shockingly fast, sometimes in less than a single day, especially in warm weather. At first, the maggots feed on dead skin, but if left untreated, they quickly start damaging healthy tissue too. This not only causes severe pain, but also opens the door to life-threatening infections. Flies are naturally drawn to moisture and foul odors. That means even a small scratch, a moist hot spot, or matted fur soaked with urine or feces can become the perfect spot for flies to lay eggs. Older dogs, long-haired breeds, or pets that struggle with grooming are particularly at risk. So it's not just big open wounds we need to worry about. It can be much smaller things, too. Number two, why immediate action matters. The longer maggots remain in your dog's wound, the more toxins they release, making your dog sicker by the hour. Wounds expand, infections deepen, and your furry friend can grow so weak that they stop eating or drinking altogether. This is not something that heals on its own. You must step in right away. Recognizing the signs early can make all the difference. Number three, warning signs of maggot wounds. Here, s what you might notice, tiny white worms moving in the wound, often the size of a grain of rice. A foul, rotting smell coming from your dog's body. Skin that looks red, swollen, or irritated. Constant licking, chewing, or scratching at a painful spot. If you notice any of these symptoms, don't wait. What looks small today can become a life-threatening emergency tomorrow. Number four, first aid at home. If you find maggots, take a deep breath. The very first step is to call your veterinarian immediately and let them know you're on your way. But while preparing to head to the clinic, here are a few things you can safely do at home. Protect yourself and your dog. Dogs in pain may bite, even if they never have before. Use a muzzle for safety and wear disposable gloves. Trim the fur around the wound. Use electric clippers, not scissors, which can cut fragile skin. This helps the wound dry and makes cleaning easier. Gently clean the wound. Flush with a diluted antiseptic like chlorhexidine or povidone iodine mixed with water. A syringe or squeeze bottle works best. Avoid hydrogen peroxide or alcohol. They damage healthy tissue and cause more pain. Remove visible maggots. If you can, gently pluck some of them out with tweezers. Don't worry if you can't get them all. This is only first aid, not the full treatment. Remember, this does not replace veterinary care. It's just to give your dog some immediate relief until the professionals step in. Number five, veterinary treatment. Once at the clinic, your vet may sedate your dog to keep them calm and pain-free while thoroughly cleaning the wound. This allows the vet to remove all maggots and dead tissue through a process called debridement. Next comes treating the infection with antibiotics, pain relief, and anti-inflammatory medications. In some cases, 
Topical creams or special dressings are applied to speed healing and keep flies away. If the wound is very large, stitches or drains may be needed, but only after the infection is under control. Your vet will also guide you on cleaning, bandaging, and follow-up visits to ensure complete recovery. Number six, prevention is key. As scary as Miyasi's sounds, the good news is that prevention is completely possible. Here is how to protect your dog, keep your dog clean and dry. Daily checks are especially important for long-haired breeds or outdoor dogs. Inspect for cuts and scratches. Clean small wounds immediately with a pet-safe antiseptic. Prioritize grooming. Trim fur, especially around the back end to prevent urine, feces, or moisture from getting trapped. Control flies in the environment. Pick up dog waste right away. Keep garbage sealed and use screens on windows and doors. Support dogs with special needs. If your pup has mobility issues or skin conditions, give extra help with daily cleaning and vet checkups. Remember, prevention is always easier, safer, and less painful than treatment. Your dog depends on you for love, care, and protection. By staying alert and proactive, you can make sure they never suffer through the awful experience of a maggot infestation. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Pawpedia for more amazing videos about pets, their health, and their happiness.